Welcome to episode 7 of The Cellar. I'm your host, Jonathan Bodle, and today I'm joined here with Owen Phillips. How are you? Me? Yes, we're good. Welcome, welcome everyone. Um, and what a beautiful little uh, lineup we have in The Cellar for everyone this week. Um, so, a little bit different perhaps than, than what we normally pull out, but there's a couple of really interesting things going on at the moment, so we wanted to showcase a couple of... Uh, new products that have come in, uh, as as well as talk a little bit about some other t- a tasting that's coming up and, and another sample pack, which uh, which Owen's made up this week, which is uh, which is very exciting. Yeah. Um, but I reckon we should start like we normally do with, with the whiskies. Um, and instead of pulling anything um, out from, from the cellar this week, like an older bottle or anything like that, um, I wanted to bring out a couple of bottles that are on the shelf and that sometimes for those who don't come into the store all the time, particularly people that are interstate and that mm. sort of thing, it can be a, a little bit harder for them to sort of to see these bottles or, or be aware that, that they've come out and, and they are pretty special bottles. And, and that's a couple of the Whiskey Agency 2020 winter releases. Obviously, we've got the tasting coming up that sold out this week um, and we were fortunate enough that there were a couple of bottles of, of a few left over and so we've just popped them up on the website now. Um, and, and the first one being the... the Ben Riak. Uh, Owen, do you want to tell us a little bit about that Ben uh, Riak? So we've got a 23-year-old Ben Riak, uh, distilled 1997, bottle 2020. Uh, Ex-Sherry Butt, really nice sort of amber, delicate brown colour to it. Uh, really looking forward to tasting this tomorrow. Mm. Ben Riak's been phenomenal in all the tastings we've done. Of course, we hark back to that 76 that we had last year. Yeah. Um, and we recently had a uh, 29 as well from 84. Always stunning stuff from Ben Riak. And this is, that's 1997, yeah, I think? Yeah, 97. So that's, uh, Ben Riak have always been doing a bit of experimental stuff with casks for a fair while, mm, you know? Yeah. 97, there's lots of the virgin oaks, a few different uh, sherry expressions. They're, they're funky, they've just done a muscatel for 11 years, yep. and they do all these fun styles. Um, yeah. So they're, they're always really good, um, and again, this is another one that only a couple of bottles allocated for Australia, really, so it's yeah. a it's great opportunity for someone to grab a a really special band react. Um, the other bottle we've pulled out there is the Tomaton, um, mm. 21 year old. Um, 21? Yeah, 1999, 21 99, year old. My birth year. Oh, it's really? A bottle, old, bottle as old as me. Be eyeing this one off, would you? A little bit. Yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be a cracker. So we, we cracked over one of them a couple of weeks ago when we started the feeling. Um, yep. And and initially, I mean, it, it was gorgeous. Um, probably got a lot of the barrel influences to start with, uh, and then as as the weeks progress, it's getting a lot fruitier, and yeah, that's what we expect from the So um, we've got a couple of tomatins in this tasting. So we've got a thirty year old in there as well from I think ninety one, there around uh, or ninety. Um, this is truly stunning. Tomatin very rarely gets this old, so to see a twenty one and a thirty in the same lineup is a, is quite quite surprising. Um, we had a 23 year old and a nectar tasting a few months back yeah. and that was this beautiful big rich uh, fruit salad sort of style whiskey uh, it's going to be really exciting Tomatin as many people will hopefully have tried is usually uh, there's a couple relatively affordable OBs yeah. um, these single casks are just a whole new ball game um, stunning stuff uh, it's, it's, it's gorgeous and again tomorrow night we're tasting but for those who don't uh, get into the store too often we we do have a couple of these available for sale um, they're on the website now and, and they won't last long no. um, now in, instead of the wine this week uh, I wanted to bring out a couple of rums because we do have the rum tasting coming up and we've also got a couple of uh, really interesting rums just come in from the Mason Lewis his transcontinental rum line one of them is 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 that the, the new range the Jamaica here Worthy Park um, 2013 Navy strength. Mm. So, I mean, four years in in the tropical Worthy Park Jamaican climate, and then... Aged in uh, ex-Jack Daniels casks. Yeah. Worthy Park, cool little distillery, um, sugar factory, quite literally a pipe down to the distillery, uh, no driving it around to just funnel strength to the distillery and then strength to rum. Yeah. Uh, it's a beautiful, and 57.18, 57 point, yeah. It's a, it's a bit punchy. It's good up there. It's a good navy strength style, but it's not. Uh, it doesn't hit you too hard. Hundred uh, percent. It's it's gorgeous spirit. Um, and I I have one hundred and thirty a bottle or something as well. So mm. you know, for for rum, it's you know you might be getting up there if 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 that is for you. But given the sort of the the labour of 
I love that goes into it. You know, taking the cask, the cask from Jamaica over to Europe, finishing it there. It's it's a really small price to pay well, for the for the journey that the whiskey that the rum's been on. We talk about Le Maison de Whiskey bottling rum for whiskey drinkers, um, and this this sort of is that same uh, curated spirit style that you see in whiskey. They've they've applied that same principle to rum, and they've come out with this beautiful, consistent line of great product. Uh, John O'Leary's got the Venezuela, yeah. small batch release. I've done much smaller volumes and smaller casks. Uh, and what have we got to taste in this upcoming rum tasting? We've got some cool stuff. There. So, yeah, um, in, in the upcoming rum tasting as well, which I'll put the link to the tickets to um, here as well, we're also going to be tasting um, a the Jamaica HD. So this is a Hampton that's been um, finished in cognac casks, taken back to Europe and finished in cognac casks, and a 2001 14-year-old... Um, Rue Biel, Marie Galante is the name of the distillery would be Biel um, and I mean it's just absolutely exquisite um, we are, we're incredibly privileged to have this bottle, I think it's one of 69 bottles total, one of 69 bottles and one of only one bottle that um, was allocated to Australia mm. so great to be able to open it up and, and try it with everyone so that, that's going to be a cracking tasting and really sort of going to lead into rum, rum over the next couple <laughs> of weeks because we've got some really interesting bottles so it's going to be great to try them with everyone and the the sample that we've uh, we've made for this week only four 15 mil samples um, of the Springbank Masala cask um, so good part of their wood series nine years old um, 58% ABV um, just a great opportunity to try a really interesting spring bank. So that'll be a, a great sample to, um, to get a hold of if, if that's something that, that interests you. Um, and then the the pack, I guess. So as you guys might know, we're actually releasing sort of different packs uh, that's like kind of a bit different to our normal mm. tastings. Um, they're sort of more packs you can enjoy in, in your own time. Um, and this week, Owen's put together the, the Japanese whiskey sample pack. So what are yeah. we got in this one? So we're looking at a bit of an exploration of the, of the wonderful world of Japanese whiskey. Uh, of course, we've got the Churros bottle in there, the classic malt and grain, introduced to uh, the idea of the Chichibu distillery, which of course we bring in ourselves and adore. Um, this is also a really, really great pack to try a brand new style of Japanese whiskey. Uh, we're very privileged. We got to have the very first 700 ml bottles of the Akeshi distillery's uh, mm. newest release. It's a peated Japanese spirit using all Japanese product. So the peat is from the north of Hokkaido. Uh, it's a mixture of sherry and Mizunara, bourbon casks, all that lovely fun spirit. Uh, we've got a classic um, Japanese whiskies in both the coffee grain and the nicker coffee, uh, the nicker from the barrel, sorry. And uh, something a little bit different as well. We've got an eight year uh, blend from uh, Mars Shinshu Distillery, the Mars Asagi, which is to, um, celebrate the rebuilding of the distillery yeah so uh, an amazing really interesting pack and what happens is, is you purchase the pack um and in it comes your, your 530 mil samples also a little card with some qr codes and they'll link you to videos of us chatting about the whiskies um yeah. and also the opportunity to purchase a bottle if, if if you like it these ones are really great introductory sort of whiskies um Obviously exceptional, but a really good way to sort of grasp an understanding of perhaps, you know, Japanese um, whiskey and whatever the pack represents, they're, they're a yeah. good sort of educational tool, I guess. And they're a good thing to keep an eye on because we, we rotate these stocks in these samples uh, as we get new whiskey. So, for example, if, if we run out of a Keshi and, these go and, and we can't replace that, we find perhaps a, another Churros bottle or we, we look for new stock that we're bringing in ourselves. So you may buy a pack... This month, and uh, maybe in, in less than a month, it's an entirely different it pack. Different, yeah, so uh, it's, a, it's a fun little thing we've, we've put up there, and we, we sure hope you guys um, can get a pack, and you know, even birthday presents for people, they're, they're going to be a really fun thing, so keep an eye out for them as they sort of come out over the next few weeks. Um, that's, I guess, it for, for the seller for this week. If you're watching on YouTube and you're not subscribed to the newsletter, feel free to jump on and subscribe to the newsletter and that way that you get to actually receive an a email with all the products we're talking about and heaps more information about them too. Um, if you're watching there from the newsletter, thanks for tuning in for another week um, and look forward to seeing you in, in two more weeks' time for another episode of The Seller. Cheers.